Hi everyone. Today I'm going to do a collage um, in my journal of the place where we actually ended up moving here in Quito, Ecuador. Quito is the capital of the country, so it's like the New York City of Ecuador. So where we live is predominantly condos, um, high rises and condos. They're not as high as the high rises in New York, and that's because we have volcanoes and earthquakes. So it's a little bit of a different demographic, as you'll see in some of our photos. I'll go over the photos after I put the collage together. A neat feature that I really liked that I found the other day was the actual floor plan for our condo. Since it's a brand new place, no one's lived here before, um, the plans were actually still online. So I went ahead and printed those out to be my background. I printed them on tissue paper. You can see it had a run in with my printer, but that's okay, it's just my background. So I'm gonna layer with that along with these beautiful washi tapes. Um, I think, I wanna say that these two are from my, Michael's. Um, this might be Hobby Lobby, and then this was Little B. Um, I think I picked this one up at a scrapbook convention. But um, I really like the words on these because the view here is incredible and it's like living in a dream. So I thought that was a very fitting washi tape word. So the background is going to be similar to the watercolor background here of the yellows, oranges, and bright pinks. So that's what I'm going to do today with my um, Peerless watercolors, my Jane Davenport um, Peerless watercolors, and start layering all of this together. from the last layout that I did on the other side. The other side is fine. It didn't affect my words or anything like that over there. So um, doing watercolor back to back on these craft sheets in the Midori Traveler's Notebook um, is just fine. It won't affect that. Um, I used a fountain pen pilot on this other side. Um, and it's just the pilot cartridges that, that go with their fountain pens. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I had bought this bright magenta paint. It's just basic acrylic paint at the craft store a couple weeks ago. So I'm just going to add some splotches of magenta paint here and there to try to cover it over. If that doesn't work, I may go ahead and add some gesso and then paint over that. edges to be a little rough. So instead of cutting it with scissors, while the tissue is still wet, I'll just use the back side of the page and tear against it. That way I end up with a little bit of a rough ed edge instead of a perfectly clean edge. The one on the bottom, there's barely anything there, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. Okay, so now that the background is all dry, I've collaged the floor plan onto here. You no longer see the word November peeking through anymore, so it's ready to start attaching the photos to it.
working on flips. This one I made full length since it's at the bottom. Um, this one I don't have to make it full length since it's inside. I probably do want something a little bit longer than that though. So I'll just kind of make it a little bit shorter since I know I'm coming across a picture here. So I'll make it a little bit shorter than my photo. But then to make sure I don't have anything that sticks out, I'll just go ahead and overlap it and tear it at the same spot. That way I know they're both the same size so when they're back to back, I don't have any tape that I have to trim off of one side or the other. washi tape from Recollections. I also bought the matching tags. They're single-sided and they're a little big for what I need here so I'm going to trim them down. But I had left an opening here at the very top of this photo. So I'm going to trim this down and then I can journal on both sides and slide the tag right in here. that I cut off there. I'm going to use as little tabs here and I'm just going to stamp them with my October afternoon stamps. Um, one has the word location and the other one has the phrase picture perfect. So I'm going to stamp those on here and add it as a tab. patiently sat through and watched me put all of this together, I'll explain the photos and what it's all about. So like I said, the background of the tissue paper is our actual floor plan. Um, this is the builder's rendering of the entire building and um, ours is actually on the back side because we face the mountains. Um, our, this is the front of the building and faces the street and um, it doesn't have that much of you. The top floors do because we're on the very top of a hill, um, but the back has the best view of the valley that I showed you in the last video called Kumbaya. We're at the top of the hill in Quito looking down on that valley, so it's an incredible view. So on here, I just did um, three stamps, location, 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 and um, I also wanted to remember the size that we've downsized to. So this is the floors, it's a bamboo wood flooring, and then it looks out onto the valley um, of Kumbaya. 
Um, our last house was 3,400 square feet and we've downsized to 1,754. And quite honestly, it feels like the perfect size for us. Um, I think it would be different if the girls' bedrooms didn't have their own bathrooms, but since they both have their own private bathroom in every bedroom in the house, it just makes the place feel bigger. It's like everyone has their own spot, their own place. And then our living room is so large that half of it is actually my craft area, So, um, which I like better because it forces me to stay more organized. Um, it's also helping me be more creative to use what I have instead of just accumulating more and more things, um, but to truly be creative with the art, basic art products that I did bring with me. So that's the view, this is the dining room, and um, that's the view out that window. But this is what's even more incredible. This is the actual view. So this right here, on a clear day, you can see this snow-capped mountain right here. It's actually not a mountain, it's a living volcano. <laughs> we live in a volcano alley, but our place is far enough that if these blow, we'll be impacted by ash, but um, not lava and things like that. This is a huge valley between where our building is to the point where the actual volcano is. So that's out the dining room window. Um, out the other window on the other side of the house is this volcano. Now this is the one that's a little scarier. This one has been very active in recent years. It's called Cotopaxi and on this particular day um, these pictures are not zoomed in. These are pictures actually taken from the window um, right where I'm sitting. So this is at my scrapbook table looking straight out. So that's the building right in front of me and then that particular day, the volcano was deciding it wanted to steam. So we kept watching these trails of steam coming out of that volcano. The biggest problem with that is the ash does go into the air, and so we are constantly sweeping every day. There's like this constant grit on the floor, um, so we have to sweep every day. Uh, carpet is practically non-existent here, I think because of that very reason. Um, so people just have tile, marble, or carpet. I'm sorry, tile, marble, or wood um, because carpet is just too difficult to maintain here um, due to the volcanic ash that floats in the air. So um, same thing with our furniture. We got furniture that's easy to wipe, uh, to wipe down. I didn't get cloth um, couches because those would take immense vacuuming on my part all the time. It's much easier to just wipe them down with a cloth. So that's the view from my scrapbook table. There's the window right there with that building. And um, this is where I sit and where I record videos for you. This is my favorite room in the house and I guess that should always be the case for the kitchen. Um, it's like a they advertise it here as a granite countertop, but honestly, I believe it's quartz because there's, um, it's not black and white and gray. This is actually, um, it has almost like an amethyst look to it. It has deep purples that are shiny as well as flicks of shiny green. It is beautiful. The camera really can't capture um, what that is like. Here they use induction cooking for everything to save on energy costs. So there's an induction stove here and a convection oven, deep sinks with the commercial spout and um, dishwasher. So what really convinced me of this place was two things. First of all, it was the view. Secondly, that it even had a dishwasher. This is the only property that had a dishwasher. When we had friends come by, they said the only place they've ever seen a dishwasher in Ecuador is in a restaurant. So I was quite thankful to get a dishwasher because we cook here all the time. We go through all our dishes at least once a day um, because we work from home, school from home, um, and eat at home three times, a, three times a day. So it's very nice to have the dishwasher. This is a funny and not funny story, stressed us out. Um, 
we got into the apartment and it took us almost a month to get internet here. So this is for my internet geeky friends. We have great speed as you can see, but it just took forever to, to get internet here. Anyway, I'm also trying to be better about including pictures of myself and my husband in my layouts. Um, so this was, our friend took the picture. This is when we actually got the keys for the place. And then this is the first day the girls got to see the place. Um, right after we got the keys, that day we, when we got the keys, they were gone to a thermal spa with some friends. So they didn't get to see it till the next day. So we took them up to the seventh floor terrace and they got to see the view from there. So that is, and then this is just gonna have um, more documentation with our actual address. That's another story. Um, <laughs> with our supposed address here. Um, so we're gonna put that in there. And I figured when I'm taking a picture of the layout, no one wants to see the picture of a toilet. So I put the toilet behind this, but I really wanted to have the picture since the girls are so excited to have their own bathrooms and it's a great, amazing shower. It's got three different settings and shoots out all different water everywhere. So they love that. So it really has been an amazing dream. It's an incredible view here. Um, I will post those pictures and some video clips of what we've taken from the balcony here. Um, and I hope you enjoy. So thanks for watching. Thank you.